I have a certain uh, sense of almost worship for the free market. And anybody blaming the free, all of the ills on, uh, in society on the free market is spreading misinformation, and it proves that they do not understand what the free market is. We currently do not have a free market. We have free market capitalism does not exist. We have manipulated market cronyism. Now, uh, cronyism, uh, you know, a capitalist has to survive and, and tries to become wealthy by creating a great product and, uh, and, and appealing to you to buy his product instead of somebody else's. So he's got to offer you a better product at a better price. There's this, this balance that they're always trying to strike to figure out uh, what is going to make you open up your wallet and vote for their product with your currency. Uh, you are casting a vote every time you open your wallet for what you want. And the people that do that better gain market share and by serving the maximum number of people possible. That is how you get rich. The free market is this wonderful, wonderful mechanism. And I'll, I'll provide a link uh, to a, a, a paper that was written by a great economist, Leonard E. Reed. It's called iPencil. Uh, and you can go and get that. It's, it's on our website. We're putting that out as a newsletter. Uh, it is absolutely brilliant. There's also a video on it. But please, uh, read the paper. It's only like three pages. It's really short. And it is so simple. And you know, I have such respect for the free market that I choke up when I read this. I mean, I get emotional. It brings a tear to my eye. But I'm sort of weird that way. <laughs> now, uh, when it comes to uh, manipulated market cronyism versus free market capitalism, we have a manipulated market. Uh, the cronyism is when uh, uh, businesses get to lobby the government for special favors and special laws that limit competition. Uh, and like, for instance, the Affordable Health Care Act entrenched all of the uh, insurance companies and all of the drug companies uh, so that and with regulation, when you put a whole bunch of regulation, small companies can't get into the business and afford to deal with all that regulation. When you uh, 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 free up all of that regulation and, and you don't have something like this 19,000 page document, the Affordable Health Care Act, small companies can get in and they can try to compete. But cronyism is where you have the government deciding who's going to win and who's going to lo lose, and they do that with regulation and laws, uh, and spe all these special interest groups being able to lo lobby Congress and so on. Uh, when it comes to uh, manipulated markets, uh, the f we have uh, a manipulated currency. Uh, you, if, <clears throat> half of every transaction is the currency involved. Uh, when you buy something, you buy it with currency. When you sell something, you're accepting currency, so it's 50% of every transaction. If that currency is being manipulated through interest rates and currency creation by a central bank, now, when the central bank artificially reduces interest rates, it causes the banks to expand the currency supply for them. The uh, Federal Reserve and the other world's central banks don't have to do it if they can get the interest rates to be artificially low. When you reduce the interest rates, the cost of buying a house becomes cheaper because the interest rate goes down, so the loan payments are going to get cheaper. And that the currency that the banks create doesn't exist until your signature hits that loan document. That's the second that that currency uh, comes into existence. And because it's on that loan document, it means you're using that currency to buy a house. That causes homes to go into a bubble. Real estate goes into a bubble then. And that purchasing power, those brand new digits that they typed into your account, is stolen purchasing power from the rest of society. And so the real estate goes into a bubble. And when that bubble pops, it's the free market trying to balance things once again. But it, it doles out a punishment to the people that manipulated the market. And then everybody screams, the free market isn't working. And so they ask for like central banks and the Federal Reserve to manipulate things more. And it just comes back to haunt us again because the manipulations and the bubbles keep on getting bigger. The wealth transfers keep on getting bigger and we all suffer for it. Please read iPencil and then you can watch the video. There's a link to the video at the bottom of, of the uh, 
article. Uh, if you read that, it's just like reading a book and then watching a movie, and it's short. So read the thing first, then watch the uh, movie, because if you read a book, it's almost always better than the movie. And I Pencil, it's a brilliant movie, but uh, Leonard E. Reed's original I Pencil is a masterpiece. It's better. It chokes me up every time I read it. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, if you are uh, interested in creating more prosperity for the future, please try to help stop the spread of misinformation regarding the free market. Because if somebody is blaming uh, one thing or another on the free market, other than the free market trying to balance everything and the free market to pri trying to provide us with what we want by us voting for what we want with our wallets. It's a vote. Every time you spend currency, it's a vote. Hopefully one day we'll be spending money again. I want to thank you for listening. We'll see you next time.